Hello everyone, this is me, Octavian from Infima Games, and in this video I wanted to answer a question that someone had in our Discord server, which was why their hands were in front of the weapon inside of the low poly shooter pack. Now this goes for both the low poly shooter pack as well as the realistic assault rifle template. So this right here is the question that the person asked, as you can see, they go, when I go to inspect my weapon, seems like the weapon is clipping through my character. And when you look at the screenshot here, what you can see is that the hands are actually behind the weapon. This is something that has come up in the Discord server many times, so I want to answer this, and I'm going to pin this video somewhere really big, hopefully, because obviously if they look at their animation from here, it doesn't happen, so it's very confusing. I get that it would be confusing. So let's go back to Unreal Engine, and I'll show you with a example specifically the example that I show in a video on how to add a weapon to the low poly shooter pack, what exactly this means and how to fix it. All right, so we're back in the low poly shooter pack and I am in a demo scene with the custom assault rifle from our modern assault rifle pack, the rigged model pack specifically, but this would be the same exact assault rifle that you would find inside of the realistic assault rifle template. In any case, the point here is that, as you can see, it is showing up correctly inside of the low poly shooter pack hands. I can reload, I can do a bunch of things, and I show this in a different video, but that's not the point. The point here is that I am not having the issue that the person showed in the Discord. And that's not because my project is magically set up or anything of that sort. And it's also not because we're using an assault rifle that we've made. The reason why this is happening here is because I've set up something very specific in the assault rifles materials which i'm going to try to explain here if we go to the specific materials for the assault rifle and i'm going to find the parent material right if you don't have a parent material it doesn't matter you can just go through every material that your weapon has and do this exact process that i'm going to be doing here so if i click on this one you're going to see that right here where we see world position offset I have two nodes plugged in. One is a parameter, which is called field of view alpha, and this name is very important. And then the other one is a material function called MF separate FOV. This is a custom material function that we have in the low poly shooter pack, which makes it so the things in first person are rendered with a different field of view. Very important, in fact, because if you don't have this, and let me show you exactly what it looks like, because you will recognize it immediately, I'm sure. So as you can see, I've taken off the material function for the FOV, and when we play the game, the weapon is behind the hands, exactly like the example that we looked at before. As you can see right here, the example that the person gave us, it looks exactly the same as what we have in the low poly shooter pack right now. So again, just to recap, Right here in the low poly shooter pack to solve this exact issue all you need to do is find the materials that your weapon is using in my case this is m assault rifle you can find this by going to the meshes and searching for the specific skeleton or skeletal mesh in this case that your weapon is using going to asset details and then unfolding this a little bit and you can look at which materials are assigned here in my case if i click on this one what happens is that it has a parent material right so I'm going to click on that one. And then in the parent material, you need to make sure that these two nodes, which if you have the low poly shooter pack in your project, you can find inside of the main low poly shooter pack materials, but you will also just be able to add them to any material as well. So it's not hard. You can just search for separate FOV and you'll find it really quickly. And to make a parameter, all you need to do is drag from this, type constant, and then right click convert to parameter that's all and then you change the name so you need to make sure that these are in this order so this is plugged into alpha and then this gets plugged into world position offset and that's all so that's about it i'm gonna leave the low poly shooter pack and the different kind of assault rifle related assets that we sell on the description as well as a blog post guiding you a little bit more in depth in text so you can check that out in the description and yeah, if you don't know the assets or you want to check them out because they look interesting, you can do that in the description or in the blog post. I will see you in the next video. Peace.